SSID Match Tool. In this training, we will introduce the SSID Match Tool, a new variation on functionality that allows local education agencies to upload a batch of blank statewide student identifiers and receive a list of potential matches in a single file or extract. Okay, so let's talk about the target audience. This training is intended for LEA data coordinators, school site registrars, and those district or school administrators. This training will benefit all LEA staff who manage records in student information systems. However, it is expected that the CalPads LEA data coordinator identify members of their team who are responsible for the student record management and share the concepts of this training with them. Objectives. All of our training is designed to build resiliency and increase the local capacity of LEAs. Through our training objectives, we aim to identify and build specific skill sets that our most successful LEAs exhibit. So let's discuss the learning objectives for today's training. We would like for you to be able to identify the purpose, file specifications, matching criteria, and resource material for the SSID matching tool. The specific skills needed to research, organize, and plan are related to curating data. We would also like for you to be able to conceptualize the SSID enrollment process, beginning with a submission to the SSID matching tool. It takes critical thinking skills to be able to understand and explain the relationship and the flow of data between CalPads and your student information system. Next, it would be very helpful if you have the ability to perform a batch file upload using the SSID matching tool, selecting matching SSID records and updating your SIS. The submission of this data from one system to another, knowing which records to include or exclude, are some of the steps needed for curating data. Again, it, curating data is a skill that we're going to emphasize during this training and is heavy with data population. The last learning objective for today is for you to be able to develop local practices that ensures the appropriate SSID assignment of incoming students. Sharing knowledge and expertise to help guide data management policy and practices is a data leadership skill. Agenda. So you can see in this agenda, we're going to begin with an overview where we will provide specifications, flowcharts, and extra resources related to the SSID match tool. Then we will demonstrate how to use the match tool and try to offer solutions for potential roadblocks in the next segment. Lastly, we will wrap up today's training with a summary of key points and look forward to future functionality implementation in the wrap-up. Overview. Here we will provide an introduction to the SSID match tool. So let's talk about the purpose of the match tool and why do we need the SSID matching tool? Well, first of all, it allows LEAs to upload a batch file with blank statewide student identifiers or SSIDs and receive a list of potential matches in the new SSID match results file. So you can, instead of one by one, look for candidates using online maintenance, you can submit a batch file and get multiple. You can search for SSID matches in mass. The match tool supplements the student enrollment process by helping LEAs determine whether a student already has an existing SSID prior to the batch file submission, avoiding the creation of multiple identifiers for students. It is also an interim solution to assist LEAs in matching existing students in CalPATS. So as reference in flash number 221, this is a planned short-term solution that replaces the SSID candidate list. This tool is separate from the file submission process in CalPads and is solely for the purposes of helping LEAs determine whether or not a student already has an existing SSID to avoid the creation of multiple identifiers or MIDs. It does this because it facilitates the matching prior to assignment. So that's the key with the SSID match tool. It allows you to retrieve potential candidates and select them prior to SSID assignment. SSID match file specifications. To access the SSID match tool, the user must have the SENR edit role on their account. The file submitted with your candidates has to follow the SENR format. Also, it has to conform to the specifications for uploading the SENR file, meaning it has to be either a .txt file, a .csv file, or a .xls X file or an Excel spreadsheet. The file that is returned, the SSID match results file, 
has its own specific format, which, which we will discuss or show later, but it's a caret delimited file. It's similar to all other extracts structure coming from CalPATS matching formula. So the SSID matching criteria for the SSID match tool includes the legal and alias names, the gender, date of birth, birth country, and birth state. And when we look at the match scoring, the legal names take a higher precedence in scoring. And the sequencing is as follows. Perfect match of submitted legal names to legal or alias names in the CalPATS ODS. Or following that, perfect match of submitted alias names to the legal or alias names in the CalPATS ODS. So you can see in the match scoring, that there's an extreme significance placed on matching the students' names. And that's because the SSID match tool does not have probabilistic matching. Hopefully in the future, that will be an enhancement added. So it places an extreme importance that when you're populating your data, you're putting your complete students' information, including their names, their legal names, aliases if you have them, and you're considering all that when you're doing your manual matching efforts or when you're making your manual match efforts. Match results fields. Once the SSID match results file is downloaded, the user must review the results and determine which of the matches, if any, match the submitted student's information. There are three fields in which help and assist in the matching included in that match results file. And those fields are the result category, the result match percentage score, and the selection field. The result category field will show you a category of match determination. So either you have a student that has no matches found in the CalPATS ODS, a single match, and or multiple matches. It's important to note that the scoring is a bit different than what you may be useful. A single match does not mean 100%. In older versions of CalPads, a single match was a 100% perfect match. That may not be the case. It's just a single match, so you still need to review those single matches. The result match percentage score is simply the score representing the percentage of demographic criteria that match the submitted student's information. So a student that has a matching first name, a matching last name, a matching birth date, and a matching birth country would be higher or expected to be higher than a student who has a matching first name, a matching last name, a matching birth date, but not a matching birth country. And then the selection field is a blank column for users to indicate whether or not they're selecting that candidate. And so you can put any value in this field when you're doing manual matching. It may be simplest just to put the SSID of the matching student in that field. However, it can be an indicator of, yes, this is my match, or no, this is not my match. But that field is there for future enhancements, which we hope come soon, in which your vendors allow you to make the matching within your local information systems. Again, we hope that this comes in the future. Right now, uh, you can expect to do manual matches and you can use that selection field for your own indications. Okay, so let's talk about the SSID match tool process. Let's look at it on this flowchart. You're going to start by logging into CalPATS, navigating to student data on the left navigation, online maintenance, student data, and then within student data, you're going to see the SSID match tool. You're going to then upload in that SSID match tool a blank SENR file. And when I say blank, it has to have only student records for those who do not have SSIDs. It cannot be a combination. CalPads is not going to sort through it and find the blank SSIDs. This file has to feature only blank SSIDs. Once your blank SSID file is submitted, it's going to go through input validations. Those that fail or have a single rejected record will have to be resubmitted. Like any single failed record on upload or on those input validations will require that that file is rejected. You have to review, make corrections in your student information system, extract a new SSID file or a new SENR file with blank SSIDs and resubmit it. 
Now, if that blank SSID file passes all validations and is approved, a downloadable SSID match results file will be available to you. Once you download that file, you will have to review the SSIDs for matches and then import those SSIDs into your student information system. And upon implementation, importing that file won't be possible. So you will have to update your student information system manually. Once you have SSIDs for students that have matches, you're going to then extract a new SENR file from your student information system to include those students who have been newly matched. And you're going to go to the file upload screen. And that's where you're going to initiate SSID assignment. So here we have the entire SSID enrollment process. So again, at the top, you can see we have the functions or your actions or your interactions, I should say, with the SSID match tool. You start again with a upload of blank SSIDs in an SENR file. Your file is going to go through input validations. It passes. Then you will have a downloadable SSID match results file or extract. You must review that file or extract for your matches. Make note of your matches using that selection column and then populate your student information system with those SSIDs. Those students who have gone unmatched, you make no changes, no notations to the record. Now from your student information system, you have updated the records and added SSIDs to the students that you didn't have, and you may still have some students who have no SSID. There was no matches, right? You extract a new file with blank and populated SSIDs. This file is going to be used for enrollment for those students you have SSIDs for and assignment for those still remaining blank SSIDs. You're going to upload that file down here in the file upload screen. This is a practice that you have done many times already. That submitted file will then have to undergo more input validations. Once it's approved, the data is automatically posted to CalPads. Your blank SSIDs will have SSIDs generated. Those records that have blank SSIDs will now have SSIDs assigned. There is still the potential for MIDs. You submitted a file with blank SSIDs, whether it matched in the tool or not, there is still the potential for MIDs. So you're going to still need to check your MID report, resolve any MIDs that may have triggered as a result of your new SSID assignment, right? After resolving your MIDs, this is when you are going to use your, you're going to extract an SSID file or you're going to retrieve, request and retrieve an SSID extract. You use that SSID extract to update your SIST again, your student information system. And remember the SSID extract allows you not only to update your SSIDs, but it will indicate uh, newly enrolled students who uh, are students with disabilities. It will let you update your student information system with your student's ELA status and initial US school enrollment date. So there are some, some functions and some value in still requesting and retrieving the SSID extract. So the benefit of taking the step of the SSID matching tool is it can extremely alleviate the burden of resolving MIDs by avoiding them. Right. And so it should become part of your practice as students are enrolled. If you're not doing one by one matching using online maintenance, you want to include a process. You want to initiate a process of using this SSID match tool uh, before you submit an SCNR file with blank SSIDs in the file upload screen. So let's look at some resources that will be helpful. OK, so let's start with flash number 231. And I have this as a Word document. And right now, this is going to be your resource, right? This is announcing the SSID match tool. It has a lot of the information required as far as the specifications, the implementation timeline. It has field specifications. This is the resource 
uh, that you can rely on and reference. Um, if you're signed up for the CalPAS listserv, you should have this in your email inbox. If you're not signed up for the CalPAS listserv, you want to come to CalPAS Communications and look for Flash 231 to be updated here shortly. You can see at the time of this recording that Flash 231 has yet to be included because it's the newest Flash message, all right? So that will take us to another resource for you, which is going to be the system documentation page. So as uh, enhancements come and refinements come and that match tool is improved, you're gonna be able to reference or see documentation about those changes or the specifications uh, from the system documentation page. Look for information on the extract. That's the product that comes from the match tool that has your matches in it to be updated in the extract specifications. It's there because that downloadable file is an extract from CalPAS, just like you consider those downloadable files from your student information systems to be extract or you're extracting data from your sys, well, this is you're extracting data from CalPAT. So it seems logical that your file specifications will be in the extract file specifications, okay? There is the potential that you have to resolve errors because they're input validation errors. So look for the CalPAT's error list to be updated as well in support of the SSID match tool. And all functionality, step-by-step -step walkthroughs are featured in the CalPAD user manual, okay? And so it's going to be updated initially under what's new, right? That helps you find all the related information to the post-redevelopment project. So you go to what's new, and it'll be listed as sequence down at the bottom. As the functionality is implemented into CalPADS, the user manual is updated, and so I would expect under immediately mitigating the risk of mid-creation. And that seems the most appropriate place right now uh, for the SSID match tool. So the CalPAD user manual will be updated. All right. So that includes our overview of the SSID match tool. We talked about the specifications. Uh, we try to help you conceptualize the functionality with the flow chart. And we try to give you some head start on the resource material. Uh, we're next going to go into a demonstration, so hang tight.